Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I said I was going to do the loose and dense in this one. I ran out of time. I got a little long-winded. So I broke it up into two sections. This section now is going to do dense. So enjoy and watch it. A longer video, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully you guys appreciate this dense. So now we're on the dense. Oh, that didn't help very much. Dense. Um, dense, so once again, uh, fibers over ground substance. Uh, that was green up top. Let's try and keep it color coordinated. Plus cells. Fibers, I think, pink. Sure. So fibers are above it. So this is kind of intuitive to me. Um, there's two types of dense. There's dense regular. So subsets, there's one dense, dense, regular, I'm starting to get angry, dense, regular, CT, and all of this means is if you remember when I said in a couple videos back that collagen fibers can run parallel or they can't, um, so basically these run together so let's do whitish so this is a collagen fiber and this is another one and this is another one and what do you know another one okay so you get the point those are all there's tons of these and they're all running in essentially one direction which is that way they have some gyrations and waves but <clears throat> So basically, I don't know if you guys have had physics and stuff, this can resist pulling in this direction and in this direction. Uh, but if you were to pull it, this is a bad no-no, if you pull it in this direction, it would just snap. Uh, you would have, be left over with disjointed, and that is bad because dense regular makes up... Oh, Sorry about that. Dense regular, I think about it, makes up what you call tendons. Tendons. We'll get back, we'll get into this, but tendons, I guess, in your arms, anywhere where muscle attaches to your bone. It's essentially tendon. Um, and actually, tendon is muscle to bone, and ligaments is bone to bone. So tendons are the more think more common, but essentially this is a generic muscle. This connects. This is the body. That's my fun muscle. Say that's your bicep. can connect to bones. Radius down here. Yeah, whatever. Um, so that's tendons, and ligaments is just bone to bone. So you have little ligaments everywhere in your feet, because there's a lot of bones in your feet. I think 26. And last, so if that's dense regular hopefully the opposite of dense regular is dense irregular a u r c t and this is going to be so let's get my collagen fibers out um kind of a mess uh kind of whatever collagen fibers do what they want this is shoot whatever so let's think about this if there's going all sorts of different ways if I pull it this way we're fine we pull it this way we're fine pull it this way we're fine this way we are totally fine this way we are fine and this is actually very very advantageous for uh, the I think what it is, reticular layer of the dermis. So, uh, without getting super crazy, we're going to go integumentary uh, next video. Sweet. Let's kind of blast through this. Um, there's two regions of your dermis, which is your skin. Basically, this is your top part, and this is the papillary region, and then down here, 
is going to be, oh, sorry, this is, the, this is going to be your crazy stuff. And this is kind of the component that makes leather. Leather. If you think about leather, you can pull it all sorts of different directions. It's super strong and bomb-proof and all sorts of great stuff. And last but not least, I think I might have talked about it before, but elastic. I forgot about this one, actually, to be honest with you. Um, oh, elastic CT. So there's elastic, <laughs> obviously, tons of elastic fibers. Um, they are parallel, parallel elastic and collagen fibers. Um, so if you can remember, my example was the aorta one. This one now is going to be just like tons of kind of in parallel fashion-ish. Okay, so there's my that, and then I have my collagen fibers kind of in the same fashion. And once again, the ear example still works perfectly. In the ear, you have elastic CT supporting your skin on your ear. So uh, you can distort it. You can move it around. So kind of the tip of your nose is going to be elastic-y. Your ears, epiglottis, yada, yada, yada. And I think that's going to do it. I like to do a wrap-up. Oh, shoot. So we're in CT proper um, we have and in, in the proper we have loose and dense uh, loose has more uh, ground substance and cells over fibers and there's my alligator which is super cool and because of that it's more vascularized more blood supply so it has metabolic support dense has really 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 little metabolic support it has tons more fibers over ground substances um, Loose is areolar, which is kind of a catch-all binding and support, uh, physical and metabolic support, and looks like a web. This was supposed to be like Charlotte's web with the little spider, little white spider. Cool. Um, adipose CT uh, is essentially fat, and that's made up a whole bunch of fat cells, and those are the functions. Reticular CT is, makes the stroma of organs, and then we go into dense, which are tendons resist going in one direction which is a tendon and that's dense regular uh, okay hopefully you remember that dense irregular is kind of a whole bunch of that kind of looks like spaghetti whatever and it can resist pulling in all directions just like under your skin and it's leather and lastly is elastic found in your ear has collagen and elastic running in some sort of parallel fashion all right, hopefully that did it for you, and I am out. See you in the next one.